going to discuss about the examination of thyroid gland or about the examination of any lump in the neck the doctor will examine the patient would you please come and examine this patient so doctor is going to wash his hands he is washing his hands he is yes he is introducing himself he is greeting the patient as well as introducing himself yes please carry on good afternoon sir my name is prabha karan i am a final year medical student from nagpur medical medical college i am today here to examine your thyroid gland so i need your consent sir yes so he has taken the consent of the patient but he will also explain the procedure to the patient he will explain how he will be examined the doctor will maintain the privacy there should be proper exposure of the patient and once the consent is taken he will proceed further yes <coughs> First up, I would like to start with inspection of your neck. Okay. So he is doing inspection of the neck. He has brought his eyes in line with the thyroid gland. So it is, and he is seeing it from the front, so that he can see it nicely. He can observe. on inspection there is a diffuse swelling on the lower anterior region of the neck measuring about 5 by 6 cm other than that there are no uh, visible veins there are no visible scar however there is a visible cardiac pulse uh, there is visible pulsation okay so on inspection on inspection the 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 doctor says that there is a mild diffuse swelling in front of the neck in its lower part which measures around 5 by 6 5 by 6 cm the skin over it is normal the the veins are not prominent or dilated there are no scars and color of the skin is normal in this patient yes please So next time I would like to give you uh, like ask you to take a sip of water. So he wants to he wants to see if this swelling if this swelling moves with deglutition if the swelling moves upwards on drinking some water or just on swallowing. So first we will observe just we will ask the patient to swallow. Will you please swallow without without water first you swallow. Yes so we can see that the swelling has moved up and now we will judge it by asking the patient to take a sip of water yes so he is taking some water holding it holding it in the mouth and the doctor will ask him swallow and he will judge whether the swelling is moving upwards or not so could you please swallow now so we can see that the swelling moves upwards there are other the the, the it is the thyroid only which moves on deglutition so we will say that deglutition test is positive and why the swelling is moving the swelling is moving the, the this thyroid this the, now we we think this is a thyroid gland and this thyroid swelling moves upwards because of because the thyroid gland is connected with the trachea by pretracheal fascia you you got my point yes okay next 
doctor would like to do the tongue protrusion test? So the doctor wants to do the tongue protrusion test. He will ask the patient. He will ask the patient to protrude the tongue. Yes. Can you protrude the tongue, please? You will be seated. You have to do that. Okay. Protrude the tongue. Yes. And move it in, move it out. Yes. Do it. Do it many times. Yes. So we observe that swelling does not move up. If it would have been a thyroglossal cyst, which is a midline, which is a midline swelling, then it would have moved up. So in this case, it has not moved up, which confirms that it could be a thyroid swelling. Okay. Next, I would like to do, would like to ask you to do a, another test. It's called the Hamilton sign. So another, he wants to, doctor wants to perform another test, what is called as Pemberton's. Sign or Pemberton's test. Now, what is Pemberton's test? You can show us. I want you to follow me. Just raise slowly. Raise your so, please raise your arms above the head. Very slowly. So, the, the, the arms should be lifted as high as possible. And if there would have been the test positive, then the neck veins would get prominent. The neck veins would get congested. So neck veins are not getting congested. The whole face would have become pink. The whole face would have got congested. There would have been a prominent visible veins over the face and over the neck. Meaning that the Pemberton's test is positive. And this is positive because if there is retrosternal extension of thyroid gland. This test can be also positive if there are malignancies, retrosternal malignancies, lymphomas, then because it is due to the compression of superior vena cava that the vein is get congested. Okay, done. To repeat basic steps of thyroid examination, we should wash our hands, introduce ourselves to the patient. Confirm patient's details, explain examination, gain consent of the patient, maintain his privacy, lightning, and maintain the proper positioning of the patient. And then we go for inspection of the neck or inspection of the thyroid gland. On inspection, we look for any skin changes. We look for any scars, masses, symmetry or asymmetry of the swelling, any pulsations, any prominent veins, any movement of the swelling with deglutition. And here we see the patient has got a swelling which is situated in front of the neck and in its lower part. And this swelling is a uh, it has got a butterfly shape and it has it is swollen the both the lateral lobes are swollen as well as the isthmus the lateral lobe size is around 9 centimeters that is vertical height and the width of the thyroid gland is about 5 centimeters we also see neck pulsations and the trachea appears to be central and there are no prominent veins there is also supraclavicular hollowing and infraclavicular hollowing the patient appears lean and thin and He, the skin appears sweaty. The lower border of thyroid gland is also seen and it is seen just above the suprasternal notch and the border is well defined. We have to observe any 
upward movement of thyroid gland on swallowing you can see the thyroid gland moves upwards we will also observe when the patient drinks some water then on drinking some water the thyroid moves upwards so you can observe here on drinking a sip of water the thyroid swelling moves upwards we will also ask the patient to protrude tongue and we will check whether thyroid gland moves upwards on protrusion of the tongue we will ask the patient to protrude the tongue and we will observe the upward movement of thyroid gland we don't see any upward movement of thyroid gland on protrusion of the tongue if we check another swelling another midline swelling that occurs in thyroglossal cyst you see here there is a midline swelling which is thyroglossal cyst this swelling moves upwards on protrusion of the tongue so on protrusion of the tongue the thyroglossal cyst moves upwards and not the thyroid gland now we will look for pemberton's sign or pemberton's test we ask the patient to raise the arms up as much as possible and we will look for any congestion or dilatation of the veins over the neck or over the face in case of pemberton's sign the face will become congested the neck will become congested the veins will occur prominent this sign is due to retrosternal extension of any thyroid swelling or in case of superior venicable syndrome due to any mass in the mediastinum one more one more way some patients who got a who got a mild thyroid swelling how to make their thyroid prominent so you have to put the patient's hands like this what is called as pizzolo's method so you ask the patient to keep the hand like this mm. yes so ask him to ask him to push your head yes. you ask him to push yes push the head so this is called a pizzolo's met met method he pushes the hands against the head you understand my point so that the swelling get is prominent okay anything else you would like to see on inspection